Okay guys, this is going to be my first YouTube video and uh, I thought I'd give a little quick demonstration on the tools that I use when I do my rope work. I haven't seen anybody else do any uh, detailed instructions about that kind of stuff. And this isn't even all my tools. I, I, I work, uh, for, for my work I travel a lot and I'm on, currently on the road right now in a hotel and this is just the stuff I brought with me to do the rope work I do most I mostly work mainly in paracord that's I've been doing paracord work for about 20 years and uh, and I really enjoy it it's a good medium I'll talk more maybe later about why uh, paracord but let's briefly go over these tools and this you can actually even have less tools than this and still do a pretty good job or more tools and some people work with more or less it just depends on what you're comfortable with first of all I've got three different kinds of awls here this is the very first one I ever had I got this one about 20 years ago it's just a piece of deer antler and you can see I've done some fancy knot work on it here and uh, every respectable knot maker will, or I'm sorry, rope worker will tie some fancy networks around their their tools to show them off a little bit their skill level and uh, all is used for uh, maybe uh, digging in a piece of rope to give you a little space to get another length of rope through it to tie a knot or to loosen up a knot to untie a knot Mo more than anything else I think I use this for grabbing onto knots and <clears throat> stuff like that. Here's another one that I made. This was actually from a uh, cold steel tool. Uh, it's made out of some kind of polymer material and I ground down the tip and fashioned it. Let me get kind of a little bit of a close-up here on the tip. If you can see I didn't just grind it down to a tip there's a little bit of a curve on there which gives you a little bit of a fulcrum right here that you can use to really dig in dig your tool into the knot and then use that little fulcrum to pry stuff out if you need to and uh, here's a couple more that I use for smaller uh, cordage to do the, basically the same with the same thing with and these are just something I picked up at a bead store supposedly these are beads but so I got them for a couple bucks and they work really good for doing smaller um, detailed work with smaller cord and just a couple different sizes that I have another thing that I every knot maker is going to need to use at one time or another is a, a good sharp knife and you see that it's got a fancy lanyard knot on it here and uh, a oh, good good thing to have things to look for in a knife is you want a good uh, quality metal that will hold a good edge your blade needs to be real sharp when you're cutting stuff and I also like a blade that's easy to open with one hand so I've got this open assist knife here from Kershaw my brother gave this to me and this flat edge here right here is, comes in real handy for cutting rope. I really like the straight edge on it. It, uh, it uh, seems to do a real good job. If there's one drawback to this knife is that it's got the liner lock and uh, I feel that's an inferior locking mechanism. I've had those fail on me before and it's also a little bit more difficult to uh, close with one hand although you can do it. So. Uh, good knife with good steel that's uh, easily sharpened and keeps a good sharp blade that can be opened with one hand and closed with one hand is a is a tool that I look forward to for doing rope work and a lighter anytime you work with uh, a cord that's made out of nylon or um, <coughs> different materials like synthetic materials like that you can use your lighter to uh, burn the ends of the material or singe the ends of the melt the ends of the material for different purposes to finish the uh, um, cord or to put a kind of a, a tip on the cord to work with while you're tying the knot and here I've got a, 
a little retractable thing I picked up at a gas station that you can clip onto your lighter which comes in handy if you want to clip this onto something like the wall or something and then you've got your lighter always hanging there within arm's reach. I don't have any thread because I forgot to bring it. I was in kind of a rush when I was packing my tools but I do have some needles and I've got uh, some thread on the way and so thread and needles is always comes in handy for um, uh, doing some kinds of knot work like uh, finishing up a knot or adding some new cord in and different things like that so there you have it that's the basic tools that are in my travel tool kit when I get home I'll I'll do another report if uh, I get anybody that's interested that they'd like to see more of uh, what I have in my toolkit. Oh, I almost forgot these guys. This is something new that I just started using about a year ago. I love these things. I have them in several different sizes and you can actually get them from different places now. Um, they've become pretty popular in the last few years. These are great um, for doing paracord work. This blue size here, is, it looks to me like this is a knitting needle that someone cut the end off of it and then uh, put some threads on the inside with a um, die set. So um, you can easily take a piece of paracord that's had the end melted with your lighter and then screw the paracord into the end of this and then use this to tie knots with and this really makes your or knot work go a lot faster and for a long time I was a real minimalist and the only thing I used was basically a lighter and a knife and the paracord itself but uh, you get yourself some good tools and you can really speed up your work and actually improve the quality of your work so there's nothing wrong with having some good tools to help the job go a little bit easier. I don't know if you can see those threads in there but it looks like uh, and so of course I've got different sizes for working different si kind, uh, sizes of cordage and so forth but mainly I just used the blue one here for doing paracord and this thing has really uh, changed the way I do knot work and I highly recommend getting some of these. You can just do a search for them on uh, Google or something like that and find them. If not, I can post if anybody's interested and they can't find them. I, I can figure out where I got them from and post a link in the description uh, field so that you can find them. Anyway, basically that's it. Hope you enjoyed my little brief tutorial and have a good